everybody. I'm going to show you how to turn your WordPress site into an app. It's fast, it's easy, it's simple. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. Trust me on this. Uh, the friend of mine that told me about this plugin, he's very new to WordPress, like super new. He did it. So let's get rolling on this. We're going to try to make this pretty short, few minute long video. Every video I found on YouTube so far makes it look like it's rocket science or something. This is scary easy. It's beautiful and free. So we're going to go over here, go into your dashboard. And go over to plugins you're going to add a new plugin over on the right you are going to type what I do is just type a p p then you wait you're gonna find super progressive web apps super PWA I've already tested it with five different WordPress themes that I have and it worked with all five and so far all five said untested with your version of WordPress. Now as always I like to remind people do a full backup of your WordPress before you do this as with anything. If you're not sure better to be safe than sorry so now that we have the super PWA in front of you click install now activate and there it is now you will scroll down a little bit and you will see here on the left Super PWA. Go over where it says settings. Click it. Now you will write whatever you want in here. You can you can change that. To whatever your site is. Uh, you can do the same here you can change it description you can write a description and then here you have application icons um, they recommend a 192 by 192 um, so far I haven't used an exact size one and I haven't had a problem yet and they look good on my mobile phones I tried it with an Apple and I tried it with a uh, with an iPhone and I tried it with an Android so far it works on both and for this other one where it says splash screen it calls for a 512 by 512 uh, same story I haven't used the exact size yet so I don't know if it's gonna make a huge difference or not but it looks good here you can choose the background color. This is what the color will be around the sides and so forth of the theme of the app. You pick the color. It's going to look best for what your color scheme is. Um, theme color. and You just pick whatever you want, however you want it. And this is like the only tricky part. Now if you see here, this is what it's showing as a current start page. I don't want it to start with a listing plan. So I need to go down here and I need to find this. This is home page or whatever your main landing page is for your, your HTML, for your uh, HTTPS. On here I suggest using the same one. 
and if you are using listing pro theme it has the built-in uh, mobile X or whatever they call it uh, for mobile myself with both of my listing pro themes yes I do have a mobile home page also um, I have tried it with both and it works fine with the mobile or the regular desktop um, leave this at portrait and it says here it's required on HTTPS so of course this isn't going to go live but you do need to have an SSL just hit save settings and you're done that's it except for one more thing now you need to come over here go to add-ons under the super PWA add-ons as you can see it right here I want you to click add-ons now you can add UTM tracking just hit activate and then you go over here to Apple now, this is where your Apple is going to come in you just did that long one we did that was for Android now click this and boom you have iPhone also there you have it now I'm going to explain to you what you do to go ahead and get it onto your phone now, I don't have a phone handy to do it or way to show you on the camera but I'll explain to you you're going to clear your cache on your page whatever cache software you have cache plugin I want you to go to your mobile phone I want you to go to your web page and when you get there just slide the page up and down go down to the very bottom and go up to the top and when you do that it's going to give you a little pop-up at the bottom it's going to ask do you want to add an icon to the desktop or to your to your phone screen just click yes and then once it's added go to your main page of your phone and look and you'll see your little logo you put click on it it'll open like an app it'll operate like an app you won't even need to use your uh, browser it does add a little bit of weight to your page but 